and girls, it's Miss Roth and Nola again. Say hi, Nola. Hello. All right, so we are going to read a book today called, do you remember what it's called, Nola? Wakey, wakey elephant. Oh, look at that. The elephant and the boy are friends, just like me and you are friends, Lola. Okay, go listen over there. She's going to go listen right in front of me. All right, so Wakey Wakey Elephant was written by Linda Raven Modding and illustrated by Michael Robertson, who is a friend of Miss Ross' dad. So the illustrator draws the pictures, and the author writes the words. Now, this book we have read before in class, but it's always great to reread books because it helps us develop reading fluency. So when we practice the same stories over and over, we read them smoothly, like we're talking rather than really choppy. So let's read this book together, Wakey Wakey Elephant. And I'll, um, after each page, show you the picture close up because I know it's kind of a uh, glare right over here, so that's okay. All right, here we go. Edgar had to wake his elephant, but his elephant wasn't easy to wake. He tippy-toed to elephant's bed and yelled, Wakey, wakey, elephant! But elephant still slept. Look what elephant's dreaming of. A peanut. Sometimes Miss Roth dreams of food in her when she's sleeping. He got a feather and tickled him. Do you think that worked? No, not on this elephant. Edgar then invited a flock of roosters to cock a doodle doo But his friend still slept. Holy moly, he's in a deep sleep. Are you ever in a deep sleep when your parents or grandmas or grandpas try to wake you up to go to school sometimes? Oh, I am. Then Edgar did what anyone else who, is sleep, or who has a sleeping elephant would do. He whipped up a very noisy, delicious huckleberry banana milkshake, poured every last drop into a too tall cup with colorful straws, and oops, accidentally tripped. But elephant did not wake up. Whew. He's still sleeping. I probably would have woken up if I had a milkshake spilt on my head. Edgar sent over a marching band to parade through Elephant's bedroom. rat a tat tat But Elephant still slept. Edgar put a silly hat on Elephant's head, the kind with the itchy ruffles. And guess what happened? Ooh, what do you think happened? Do you think it finally woke up? Let's see. Make a prediction. Mm, nothing. So then Edgar did the cha-cha chicken dance on Elephant's bed made confetti, and threw it on him, the kind that usually made elephants sneeze, blew up balloons, and popped them all, pop, 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 pop. But elephant still slept. Holy moly. He's still sleeping. No! Oh, I know, Lola. I know. He's still sleeping. Come here. Come here. Here you go. So then Edgar said, shh. Let Elephant sleep. He looks so peaceful. Lola, come over here. I know you want to wake Elephant up, but you got to come over here. No, he didn't say that, silly. Instead, he yelled, wakey, wakey, Elephant. And then he, I hope he wakes up. Oh, he invited friends to come and tickle Elephant with a feather, march with a band, put on silly hats, throw confetti, pop balloons, and do the cha-cha chicken dance on his bed. But still, Elephant slept. Did Edgar give up? What do you think? Did Edgar give up? Hmm. I don't think so. No. He had one more idea. He stood next to Elephant's bed, lifted his friend's huge ear flap, and whispered, happy, a little bit quieter than that, happy birth, even quieter, happy birth. And before Edgar can <coughs> even finish, I know, Lola, it's so exciting. Can you guess what happened? It says, don't turn the page until you've taken a guess. So take a guess. Do you think he woke up? Let's see. Elephant leaped out of bed. He did the cha-cha chicken dance, pop, pop, pop balloons, threw confetti, straightened his silly hat, and marched with the band because... Ooh, he's finally awake. I wonder why he's dancing around. Today is Elephant's birthday. Sometimes elephants forget things like this and need a little help remembering. 
but the one thing Elephant never forgets is how lucky he is to have a friend like Edgar. Oh, what a sweet story. The end. Oh, look at them. They're sharing a Huckleberry banana milkshake together at the end. Oh, beautiful. I love that story. What did you think, Lola? I know she was yipping the whole time. She was so excited to hear us read it. Hey, Lola, come over and say goodbye to our friends. Come on over. Oh, thank you. All right, what did you think? She said she really liked it. Do you like reading, Lola? Yes, I do. Do you want to read another book tomorrow? Really? Really? All right, well, Lola says she wants to read another book tomorrow, but she hasn't quite figured out which one she wants to read yet. She's picked three out, but we can really only read run at one at a time, right? Because that's going to be too long of a video. All right, boys and girls, so tune in tomorrow for Miss Ruff and Lola's story time. I'll see you tomorrow on YouTube. Bye! Say bye, Lola.